Hi everyone, Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com. That's me, coming at you with a brand new release. A lot of new releases today. 2020-2021 Panini Donruss Basketball. Two box, hobby edition, two box break, random team number three. One spot gets you two teams in this break. So that's a pretty good price point, I think. I think most people would have bought two anyway. All cards ship. Um, I love these uh, crunch time inserts here. The Marvels have already been pretty strong, but the crunch time inserts I really like so hopefully we can pull some all right so one spot gets you two so let's double you up like sir mix a lot and all 30 teams are in let's roll it and randomize names and teams six and a five 11 times each one two three four five six seven ten and 11th and final time. After 11, we've got Billy down to Cruz. All right, six and five, 11 times for the teams. One, two, three, four, five, six. Ten. And good luck, everybody. 11th and final time. We got the Spurs down to the Pelicans. I'm sure second-year Zions will still still do all right on the secondary market. He's been playing some excellent basketball this season. All right, Darian. No worries. No worries. Not bad for some free advice, right? Although, I will accept a commission check. In the, no, I'm kidding. Don't. Billy with the Spurs. Ramon with the Celtics. James with the Pistons. Brian with the Lakers. Brian Ferguson with the T-Wolves. Narek with the Nuggets. Uh, Ryan Kaysen with the Nets. Brian with the Bucks. Jake with the Hawks. Narek with the Blazers and the Sixers. Cruz with the Warriors. Narek with the Knicks. Brian with the Grizzlies. Jake with the Mavs. Patrick with the Rockets. There you go, Patrick. It's his team right there. Ramon with the Wizards. Billy with the Cavs. Ryan with the Pacers. James with the Clippers. Patrick with the Kings, Corey with the Heat, Narc with the Thunder, Brian Ferguson, Jazz, and Raptors, EA, Hornets, and Magic, Narc with the Bulls, Corey with the Suns, and Cruz with the Pelicans. We're going to get all this on one page, sort by team, alphabetically. And I grabbed two random boxes from the from the pile that Jason left me. I think, I think we marked these with some sharpie right there so you know it's all from the same case so we're gonna pause the video when we come back we're gonna see if there's any trades and then the break stick around all right welcome back folks a little bit of trade chatter but in the end no deals were done here thanks everyone for getting in appreciate it nice let's uh what's what's going on in basketball today i think oliver your kings and my lakers are playing together tonight I think LeBron might be out for the for today's action. Or maybe not. I thought I saw that on the uh, on the ticker. Oh there it is, yeah. LeBron out. LeBron out for tonight, but uh, still set for the All Star game. So, adjust your uh, adjust your daily fantasy lineup. Sean Jaspi, what's going on? How are you? Doncic doubtful. I guess a lot, a lot of, a lot of maybe stars taking a little break. I'll bet, you know, LeBron would have played if this was a playoff game. You know what I mean? But, but I think they're trying to force him to get to get some, take some rest. I think there's up to like a week off, right, before the second half of the season starts. I think for almost a week. By the time rest and all-star game and then all that sort of stuff. 
Yeah, I guess everyone's just yeah, kind of cruising, taking some extra time off. I think the Lakers are in, in need of a third option. Dennis Schroeder. When everyone's healthy, AD, LeBron, Dennis Schroeder. And then you go down the line, Kuzma, then Caruso. It's a pretty, uh, it's a pretty solid team when everyone's healthy. And it's, it's like imagine if, imagine if the Sixers lost Joel Embiid and Ben Simmons. They wouldn't look very good either. There's Jersey Kings, Vernon Carey Jr. Do we have any personal boxes to sale for like Topps Christmas boxes? No. Some, uh, no, maybe. <laughs> There's Nico Mannion, 91 out of 99. Possible cousin of one of my colleagues here at Jaspies. There's Saban Lee. I think feel like Saban Lee has been playing, has had some a few good games here and there. That's, a, that's out of 349. Nico Mannion goes to Golden State. Cruz. Saban Lee goes to Detroit. That'll go to James. These Marvel's inserts are pretty cool. There's Paul George. I, lo I love these crunch time cards. I don't know what these guys' value is on the secondary market, but I like the crunch time. There's Anthony Edwards. Patrick Williams playing some good basketball. An all-card chip, ladies and gentlemen. So, There's LeBron for the Lakers for Brian. Patrick Williams for the Bulls playing some good hoop. Narek with that one. Anthony Edwards, your number one overall pick. Going to Brian Ferguson and the T-Wolves. Yeah, a lot of young Pistons playing well. Saban Lee, Sadiq Bey. Right. I think those are the two names that jumped to my mind. More crunch time, Ben Simmons. Oh, maybe he's a little, a little more common than I thought. Jason Tatum Marvels. James Harden. Peyton Pritchard, I think, playing some good hoops. And there's our first LaMelo ball. LaMelo Ball for EA and the Hornets. Is Isaiah Stewart another Detroiter that's playing well? No, the ball's been playing really well. There's Sekou Demboya, another piston right here to 199. Nark likes the the New York Young Guns. Yeah, quickly playing some good basketball. R.J. Barrett from last year playing some good basketball. They still have Obi Toppin. There's Obi Toppin. He'll be in the dunk contest. There's Isaiah Stewart. Anthony Edwards, your number one overall pick, of course. There's Obi Toppin. I think we'll see him in the dunk contest, which would be a lot of fun. Therese Halliburton for the Kings. Patrick Cologne playing some good basketball. I guess these crunch times are a little more common than I thought, but I like them. Maybe we'll just sleeve up the rookie crunch times. There's Trevor Ariza to 99, Gary Harris to to 349. There's Sadiq Bay, Aaron Naismith, another Patrick Williams for the Bulls. Patrick Williams, of course, your uh, number four overall pick. Nice one for Chicago, Narek. Gary Harris to 349. Trevor Ariza for Portland to 99. 
These are all commons, but of course they'll ship. All card ship in this. There's Gordon Hayward still. Celtics edition in Gordon Hayward. 349. I thought they'd have that updated by now. Maybe that was intentional. Press proof, Nico Mannion, there's Quickly. Okay. All, all card ship in this, right? Yes, all card ship. Just making sure. The Marcus Aldridge to 199, there's zero gravity Zion. Westbrook crunch time. And we've got a press proof Luka Doncic crunch time. Third year Luka. I'm sure these will still sell well on the secondary market. Dallas. That'll be for Jake. There's Tyrese Halliburton for the Kings. That'll be for Patrick. Zero Gravity, Zion. And a numbered LaMarcus Aldridge. There's a lot going on in this set here. Coro, Wiseman. James Wiseman playing some solid basketball for the Golden State Warriors. And it'll be for Cruz. And there's an RJ Hampton autograph, rated rookie auto for Denver. How's RJ Hampton been doing? I don't know. Denver, that's for Narek, last spot mojo. R.J. Hampton was a late first round pick. 24th overall. Colin Sexton's been playing some good basketball. Six out of 49. And we've got Josh Richardson to 349. And a green Jason Tatum crunch time? That looks different, right? Or is it just the team color? Julian, this is break uh, three. If you look at the schedule that's pinned in the chat and dropped in the chat, you can see uh, you can see what's going on there. So you're never in the dark. Always check the schedule, folks. Pretty important part of your Jaspi experience to maximize your Jaspi experience. One ninety nine. Yeah, I think that's just part of the team color, the crunch time. Daniel Vija is supposed to be pretty solid. I think he kind of has that sort of Lamelo experience playing in a professional overseas league. Kind of puts him his experience level with older players rather than than college players that might help his. Progression. That's for Ramon and Washington. There's Zion. And that's a second year Zion Williamson for the Pelicans. Cruz with the Pels. Oh, and that... Josh Green was numbered to 349. All right, second and final box. Who's calling who, baby Luca? Nart? <laughs> Excuse me. 
excuse me. Putting, it's putting water down the wrong pipe. Luka Doncic could very well be a a transcendent player. I think it's kind of hard to see now. Obviously, he's only in his third year, but take a just take a look at when a lot of star basketball players stars now when they you know when they really peak. And so, oh, they were comparing Denny Avija to Luka. I see. I mean, he could be. I think Denny Avija has has had some health issues, some injury issues. And I think he was on the health and safety protocol list, maybe some COVID or something like that. That knocked him out for, I think, a week or so. So I think he's still just trying to get into the swing of things. But but yeah, as for Luca, that might it might be really interesting to see where he's at, like, seven years into his career, you know? Because you look at, like, Kevin Durant, you look at, like, even 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 LeBron. Like, it was clear what his talent was first few seasons, right? But look at Kobe as well, but it really takes a basketball player five, six, seven full seasons to really start to get to a point where they're, where they're their body is is built for the for the NBA, you know, and then where 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 they can they know enough defenses, you know, where they could they could really make you can start taking over games at that point. There's LeBron for the Lakers. That'll be for Brian. There is R. J. Barrett to three forty nine. Jens, what's going on? I'm doing well. How are you, man? Knicks, Nark, Knicks playing some good basketball. There's Blake Griffin to 199. There's Anthony Edwards. There's Avija again. Any second year bowl bowls pulled? I'm sure we have. I've not really been paying attention to second year bowl bowls. There's Denny Avija again. There's Anthony Edwards. But I'm sure there were. Thank you guys for your shipment of your cards. You're welcome. Our shipping team works very hard. Get cards to everybody, safe and sound. This is Joe Ingles to 349. Another Patrick Williams, rated rookie for the Bulls. It's for Narek. Yeah, Zeke Naji has looked pretty pretty good at times. I think with the right matchup, he's also a good. Uh, I think I think has has been a good sort of cheap DFS option. There's Goran Dragic to 199. There's the rookies, Tyrese Halliburton for the Kings, Patrick Cologne. Yeah, there are plenty of digital cards out there in the world. If you want to help save trees. There's Chris Paul to 99. how he does in the dunk contest, Opie Topper.
And there's SGA, Shea Gilgis Alexander, Jersey Kings for OKC. It's going to go to Nard. Ooh, yeah, Anthony Edwards versus LaMelo tonight. Is that a national game? No, it's not. The national games today are Nets at Rockets. James Harden returned to Houston. Is this his first time going back to Houston? And then the late game is Warriors Trailblazers. And I think we'll get Lakers Kings on local TV here. All right, there's John Wall to 99 for Washington, Ramon. Denny Avija again to 349 for Ramon as well, Washington. I don't think we've seen a lot of numbered rated rookies, right? At least for the somewhat bigger names. Anthony Edwards rated rookie for the Timberwolves, Brian Ferguson. It is. James, Pat saying it is James Harden's uh, return to Houston. Yeah, Nets are going to destroy the Rockets. It's going to be ugly. Yeah, it might not be good. There's a 99, Marquise Chris. Speaking of the Rockets, there's Westbrook edition. A rocked edition of Westbrook, that is. And looks like Jalen Smith is your autograph. Suns. Corey with the Suns. The Suns looking pretty good against my Lakers. Although, I wasn't happy that after... Well, I'm not sure why Devin Booker got ejected, but... But I was not pleased that the Lakers trying to take advantage of that. That was a bit of a bummer. To 349, DeMontis Sabonis for Indiana. Ryan, there's Landry Shamit to 199 for the Clippers. James, and our last little stack right here. Are we are we putting in James Harden? Are we locking in James Harden in our DFS lineups? Revenge game? Always play the revenge game player? You know what? I think I might. I think I might build a lineup around James Harden. For funsies. Thing is Harden's cool cost so much money in a DFS lineup. I'm going to save as many of those second-year John Morant and Zion base cards as possible. Although every, everything will ship. There's Nico Mannion to 349. Got Jan more rookies here. Jalen Smith. There's another LaMelo. There you go. So I think that's two for you, EA. A couple LaMelo base cards. Nothing numbered or parallels, I'm afraid. But, but still nice. John Morant and Nico Mannion to 349 for the Golden State Warriors. And there you have it, boys and girls. That was 2020, 2021 Panini Donruss basketball. I'm Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com. Um, I'm sure some more have sold out. We'll keep getting into those. I'll see you next time for the next one. Bye-bye, jazbeescasebreaks.com.